Now, you sloughed up on your end of things. I didn't end up where I wanted. I didn't end up with nothing. Didn't get nothing. You got what you were supposed to get, blues man. Ain't nothing ever as good as we want it to be. But that ain't no reason to break a deal. Why you going Parasceptics. The cream for the crop. Your medicine for paranormal bullshit. And here we go. Hello and welcome to the Parasceptics Podcast. We are back in live and color. Yeah, we are back. And you don't give a shit. We don't give a shit. All over the world. Fuck you. Who cares? Anyway, what countries are we talking? Let's name off a couple of countries. Um, Australia. Australia. Italy. uh, Russia. Somewhere in the South America. Somewhere in the UK. Um, all the guy, all the goddamn um, Middle Eastern countries. Mm-hmm. We're global bitches. You're welcome. Anyway, before we get too deep into it, folks, I want to tell you a little bit of something. All right, now, Wade and I both have Native American heritage in our families. It's the accent. Yeah, you can tell, can't you? I sound all Algonquin, whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm I'm Wakama, yeah. just to let you know. <laughs> I'm Sarsaparilla. That's the thing, right? <laughs> so, anyways, um, you remember Wade ended it up the whole uh, Ghost of Shepherd's Town mm-hmm. Indian ritual video. Uh oh. And we got a comment on YouTube. Which that's up to fifteen hundred views. That's not bad. Yeah, I didn't do jack shit on the keyword. We didn't do or shit anything. with it. I don't keyword. Know. We just put it out there. Uh, anyway, now somebody got upset and said, "You know, this was my dad that was doing the rich. You should hang your head in fucking shame." Oh, shit. To say that you are offended <laughs> that we said how shitty that was. Come on. Your dad's pretty much raping the goddamn culture to be on TV. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, to, to agree to go on there and do that uh, for the cast of Why didn't you Shepherd's put on a Town. goddamn a Why didn't new... you put on a goddamn headdress and do a rain dance <laughs> yeah, around the fire? I mean, that was a no no. Just you should be upset with the producers of Ghost of Shepherd Sound. I'm sorry, but that's you're the getting, way it is. You're getting mad at us and even worse, somebody else commented on the video and you attacked them and he's an Indian. Yeah, I know. I was gonna ask him if if he's offended. <laughs> well, he's thought. a goddamn he's a goddamn Indian and you attacked him. Because he was saying you got to be a skeptic. Come on, you know that was bullshit. <laughs> Come on, your dad knew was how much. How much did he get for that? I, <laughs> that's the. How much was that check? Did you buy some more moccasins? Get <laughs> the fuck out of here! Shit. <laughs> no, that those that, that, that was safe for the spirit to walk out of there. Yeah, so. Why don't you go? Why don't you go out and buy some sage? Put it in some soup. Fuck off. There's a. It's a lot of that. Good old seeds. Saint, you're full of shit, too. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyways, what we got going on the paranormal there, Wade? Uh, Bigfoot was sighted in Charlotte, North Carolina. Boy, yeah. I saw that. Home State getting in on it, baby. Yeah. Booyah. <laughs> and not only, but reported by the most credible of witnesses, a Bigfoot search group. Imagine that. A Bigfoot search group saw a Bigfoot. You can't make this stuff up, folks. <laughs> Nothing screams credibility than somebody who actively looks for Bigfoot spotting a Bigfoot. Yeah, without any video evidence or anything. I don't know. You know, they just saw it. I got my hopes up, and then I saw it, and I was like, ah, shit. Which reminds me, I saw an albino one time. They exist. <laughs> Freaky, aren't they? I'm not making it up, folks. I was there. I don't have a picture or a video, but I saw it. Freaky. 
Remind me of possums. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Anyways, before we get too far off the goddamn reservation, put them. Oh, this snap. <laughs> you see what we did? See what I did? Full circle, baby. <laughs> Colonel Troutman. <Anyways>. Colonel Troutman. <laughs> Train him to be the best. It's got in for me sometime, Johnny. <laughs> What we're going to do this week, folks, is uh, we told y'all we were going to talk to some real people about real investigations at real, quote-unquote, famous locations. And uh, this week we're going to talk to Amy from Full Dark Productions. Did I say that right? Yeah. Dynamite drop in money and broadcast school has really paid off. Uh, actually, the uh, uh, Zach Bagans uh, pronounces it full dork production, just to let you know. <laughs> hey. So we, we're we going to talk to her. She went and did some investigating at probably one of the most famous locations in the United States. The home of the haunted mirror itself, Myrtle's Plantation. And not only that, she was also in Rolling Hills. Actually, Amy. Amy, we might need you to do another sound test because you are coming in very, very soft. Very. Oh, no. Is this better? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, I swear. Something's going on. Are you in the bathroom? Nope, totally not. <laughs> Is your is your are you on, are you on the you're doing this on the mobile device uh, on your uh, phone? Yes. Hmm. Sounds like that either audio is not. Ed Boost Mobile's full of shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Am I any better now? Perfect. Okay, I won't move this thing. Beautiful. All right. Now. Anyway, let's we'll just edit all that out. Yeah. No, that's that's perfect. That's real life. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very first, if you guys remember, the very first one we did was uh, what was the name? Shadowscape. That's it. Yeah. Shadowscape from Texas. Man, Amy, if you get half that bad, we will hang up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no. It's... <laughs> I, I don't see this being bad. But anyways, Amy, tell us a little bit of who you are, what you do, where you're from, why do we care? All right, you might. That's Amy, awesome, no. Amy. Well, let's go. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, let's go. I'm I'm Amy. I'm one person. I do I don't know what you'd call it, like a mini docu series to use some of these stupid terms. Yeah. I put my I I, I investigate on my own. I take good friends. Um. Based in upstate New York, not the city. Awesome. And most stuff we do is local, and we travel when we can because, you know, there are fun places out there to go. And everything that hits the internet that you see is just me. And I like that because I control what I do. <laughs> so well, you went from upstate New York all the way down to Myrtles. Yeah, well, Myrtles, please know I went to New Orleans to go to New Orleans. Because, I mean, what a city. And the friend I was with has nothing to do with the paranormal. But I was like, yo, let's see a plantation. Like, for real. In the North, we don't see that or really learn the real history. So we were ready for, like, That's cause a you're real Yankees. plantation. That's because you're we are. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are what? In the middle? Bloody so Yanks. <laughs> yeah, we're... So, I mean, it, it was just a trip for fun. And because I'm me, I carried a recorder with me. I'm like, I know this place. I watched a really bad episode of you know one show <clears throat> ghost adventures and i i wanted to see for myself so i mean do you do you want the rundown of what happened and why it was so bad so you, <laughs> you so you you didn't go specifically for myrtles but you figured what the hell while i'm here yeah. i might as well go yeah. okay so yeah I mean, yeah like tourist attraction kind of thing and we you know i want to see the history of these places and we were ready for like a brutal history the real facts of a fucking plantation, you know? So we show up and, first of all, I don't know if it's all that well organized, but we couldn't find an employee. And you can just walk in that house, you know, gaze into the mirror if you want, and, and not return and not see somebody. So we found the tour guide, and it's the guy in the Ghost Adventures episode, and 
I what I did for you guys is I put myself through watching those episodes of Ghost Adventures again to kind of jog my memory. This was a while ago. And it's the resident historian who gives the tour there, mm -hmm. the guy in the show. And so I was like, all right, we're going to get a history tour. All right. It starts at the mirror room, the main foyer. And the entire time it's supposed to be a history tour, he's spattering it with like the paranormal cool things that were specifically from the show. Uh huh. Which is like, uh, is this your is this your draw? You really? Now, did he know that you were there for the paranormal side of it? No, we were just tourists. Okay. Only just there, and it, there was nothing specifically in the tour or buying tickets that said anything about ghosts. We were like, all right, we're going to learn this place. Did he mention the show though? Did he mention Ghost Adventures? I don't specifically remember him saying it, but I think he did when he talked about the mirror once in the beginning. So he's actively hyping up the paranormal yeah. side of the, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's for sure. Because then, you know, as he talks about the room and the furniture, he says you might want to take pictures of this mirror. And that's where I got the pictures that I, you know, posted on Twitter of Andrew making a smirking face because he's like, what are we doing here? <laughs> and then they talk about, you know, the man who was shot, what's his last name, Winter, William Winter was shot and died on the 17th step. And, you know, that's historic facts so i guess that can be in a tour and then they take you in this side room where everything is authentic owned by the family he makes a huge deal about not touching a damn thing in that room fine sure that's a museum and then on the show where they're in there sitting on furniture and i'm like what the if you have a network behind you you can do whatever you want to these fucking places like well that's because yeah. what what many people don't realize and what i found out um, through being a quote unquote case manager is historic locations like that. And I'm sure it's the same all over, but they actually want you to have a at least million dollar insurance policy uh -huh. before they will let you come in and investigate. Because what was the place I contacted? Well, you remember right offhand? I can't remember. It's some goddamn old historic home that they use the art. <laughs> Community uses it as like I can't remember some fucking mansion, yeah. but the dude was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you can come in, but you gotta show proof of your insurance policy." Mm -hmm. Oh no, kidding! Yeah, this yeah so I can't that's remember. so Travel Channel's insurance policy lets these guys do all sorts of things. I don't know that for sure, but I would say it's probably a pretty goddamn good chance. Yeah, well, it was it was clear that this room was super important, and that we were you know, not to breathe on it wrong. And I think in that room he mentioned the picture on the wall of like a doll or a girl does something spooky or the eyes move probably. Oh, one of those. Yeah, so I was like, all right, there's <laughs> there's number two for throwing in something paranormal. And he, for being, this is where I was like, what the fuck? For being a historian, he's telling the legend of the uh, supposed maybe existed, maybe didn't slave girl named Chloe Mm -hmm. who then Bagans refers to in the episode as Cleo, so that devolved quick. Oh, God, did he? <laughs> it was He's... a cringe episode the whole way through. Oh, man. I yeah, might have yeah, to look this one so, up. <laughs> I, do it. It's worth it. I took notes. I took notes. So, like, he's telling a legend based on, of course, you know, a slave being blamed. I hate to be a jerk, but that's kind of disrespect and there was a lot of disrespect and like misrepresentation in the tour and they focused solely on the family the man who died the ghost stories they see and a lot of other nope. facts but nothing about the slavery uh -huh. now i'm gonna tell you what we don't tolerate disrespect on this podcast oh yeah yeah uh -huh. no none <laughs> <laughs> so i mean the tour itself was short um they don't take you upstairs there's a lot about the paranormal and some of it we know isn't even factual, and they're still just spreading it around. And there was nothing. Oh, here's another thing. I asked the guy, hey, do you mind if I record this? And he said, no, no, we don't allow that. And I was like, oh, okay, I don't know what that motivation would be. At least I asked. So I, um, <clears throat> I put my recorder in my bag because I'm a dick, <laughs> and I didn't catch anything. I mean, a lot of it is movement noise, obviously, but yeah, there's nothing there. I was there for an hour, two hours maybe. Well, I think the reason you probably couldn't record is because you didn't pay for an overnight investigation. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I didn't pay for a room. A yeah. Room. Yeah, you didn't so, pay for an overnight investigation, so that's just not tolerated. Exactly, right? Photos only. 
God forbid. So, I mean, that one, it's a short story, but it was a pretty lackluster tour. Um, it was clear they were awesomely excited about the paranormal and that show being there. And I think that's where they got their draw from. So tell me about the mirror, because I've heard many different stories about the mirror and that it's actually just old and mm-hmm. the the actual glass has got all kinds of shit on it. Oh, yeah. You can see that even in my shitty old phone photo that I posted, that it's full of, like, the yeah. typical moisture marks that you get on a mirror. And it is old, but it's not original to the house. It's been reframed. It's probably been smudged. People have had their hands front and back. And if you see something in it, you're delusional. You know, like, it's a mirror. Mm-hmm. It's nice looking. It sits over a lovely, like, dresser. But like any mirror, it's a mirror. It's an object, guys. Like, and if you take a picture into it, well, what happens there? Yeah. What's the surface? <laughs> so. So you're yeah. telling me, with a straight face, mm-hmm. that those TV shows are full of shit. They're <laughs> full of stories. Surprise! Like, come on. It's, yeah. It's TV. We know this. You know this. Yeah. Well, it, it, that's the th- it, yeah. Especially Ghost Adventures. They numerous times they've been busted for. Um, Mis- misrepresentation and uh, and yeah. ba- and exaggerating, and not only that, or or just getting the facts wrong and just presenting a bunch of horseshit that people are like, wait a minute, <laughs> the, yeah. like the owners of certain places have been like, no, 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 <laughs> that's yeah, not yeah. how it went. <laughs> I I believe it. I believe it. And I this was in 2014, January 2014. We went, and so that episode was probably from like a year or two before that, I think. And when okay. I went back to look at it. It's so fucked up. Everything is misrepresented. They spilled the tea on the woman in the voodoo. She was like, nah, I have nothing to do with that. And then they were like, actually, she does. And like, that was fucking rude. Oh, God. <laughs> and that's on TV. Like, yeah. So, so I like the building. I like it. I like that. I like that I got to learn a little bit about it. Mm-hmm. But don't get your hopes up, I guess. Yeah, I wonder. I, I wonder if it's more of. I wonder if their their angle is to kind of tease, because a lot of yeah, like you said, that's their draw. Tons of people are, are going to go there because they've seen it on Ghost Adventures mm-hmm. or other paranormal shows, and they're going to go there and take like a basic tour. But and their duty is to kind of like tease it and say, you know, you've uh, you've seen this on Ghost Adventures. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. And then you know maybe a twenty minute tour and then that's that and may that makes people want to come back around do you have like night investigations yes we sure do (laughs) (laughs) step right up one thing that bothers me about myrtles and i can't remember where i heard it but you know myrtles has been featured on many a paranormal show over Mm -hmm. the years and one thing I've heard on a show is that it is on the list of the United States Registry of Haunted Houses. Oh, yeah, you're right. I remember seeing that in one of the shows. I have never been able to find the United States Registry, <laughs> registry of, haunted of Haunted Houses. houses. Yeah. I have oh searched for it. I have Googled it. I have done my damnedest to find a U.S. Registry of Haunted Locations, that- and I can't find it anywhere. That's because you have to go to the Library of Congress. It's a physical book. You can't access it on the... It's in the President's Secret Book. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, my God. I I believe that they had, like, paranormal weird stuff before. Sure, you know, you can't... If somebody says they saw something, maybe. maybe, And they have no reason before a show gets there to to really do that. But there was no... Well, see... They've got, like, these certain talking points, like the mirror, the 17th step. Like, you're milking it. Really? Yeah. Well, see, yeah. here's the thing. I would argue that they do have a reason to say that. And the reason I say that is because, you know, you're from New York. Mm-hmm. You guys don't have plantations and stuff. Here in Tennessee, we're not from Tennessee. We're from North Carolina, but we got them back home, too. Mm-hmm. There's plantations everywhere. Yeah. Old plantations home. Old plantation homes. Now they're historical tourist sites. Every fucking where are you look. Now, <laughs> every one of them. <laughs> Almost to a point has a ghost story. Uh, Every one. There's two within 20 minutes of here. (laughs) Yeah. And we have contacted them. I've talked to them in person. Hey, 
Do you allow investigations? No. We want to be known for history, not for the paranormal. But you let October roll around, Jack, and it's ghost tour time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would make the argument that these places have a financial reason to promote ghost activity because just like all these locations, these hospitals, these prisons, they need the money for upkeep. In the South, nobody gives a shit about a plantation. <laughs> Let's just be honest, because they're everywhere. Not knocking the, not knocking the, the history, not knocking slavery, not knocking the Civil War, any of that. We get it. But it's not uncommon to see an old plantation home here in the South. So you don't get tourists, usually from the South, going to a plantation home. Oh, I mm-hmm. see what you're saying. Because you can drive past it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, going to work. Hey. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, there's a plantation home. There's another one, 10 miles that way. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. So they, I really fell victim to the old trap of it's a haunted plantation, not knowing well, there, there's really that many of these homes around. Well, yeah. I'm not saying they're a dime a dozen. But it's not uncommon to see yeah, certain plantation areas. homes around here. Yeah. Certain North areas. Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama, yeah. Mississippi. That's something. They're everywhere. And the thing is, they're preserved now. They're historical yeah. landmark sites. You have to generate interest in these things because people in the South are used to it. Yeah. It's That's no like big our, big. our mansions up here. How do you get people to come? October is when you pull them in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys have, yeah. You guys have mansions up there. Not right. <laughs> we have real homes. I think they, they call them brownstones. No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got indoor plumbing and water. <laughs> One day we'll get a real refrigerator. <laughs> Y'all even had shoes for school. <laughs> for school. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I mean, geez. so that would be my argument. That would be my counterpoint yeah. to what you say. That makes sense. They have a reason to do that because, like I said, with these with these locations around here, Carter House in particular, and Carton, you know, oh, the cemeteries are haunted, and you can see little kids running on the porch, and you can see soldiers here Jeez. and there. It's always a Civil War it, soldier. There's always a general. It's always a Civil general. War soldier. Yep. The general oh, who made his plans here got shot in the head. That was our bread and butter on IPR, baby. Rip a via yeah. plantation. Yeah. We were there every weekend. Another every. damn plantation home. <laughs> we were there every goddamn weekend. You know, and that, nobody cares. Yeah. So it's they have to, so they get people interested because else no one's going to give a shit. Because you go to one plantation, it's the same as another one. Smells the same, (laughs) (laughs) but and and when uh, that that just made me uh, think of something. When you were when you were there at the Myrtles, Mm -hmm. did you even get it? You know, some people might be privy to this. This is you know one of those things. Did you have any kind of like funky feelings? Like, did you feel like yeah, this place is haunted? (laughs) Did the atmosphere feel heavy? Yeah, was it heavy or was it light? No. God, it was it was hot as shit, is what it was. Uh huh. No, that means it was God. demonic. You're right. It was it was real heavy. Like static. <laughs> no, no. It, it no. It felt normal. It felt like when a you, house. Uh-huh. When you're down there in that hot, muggy south. <laughs> okay. Did you find any cold spots? Shit, no. no. I'm sure you were sweating your ass yeah. off. Oh I my did. God, yeah. I did feel queasy. Well, it's probably because of the mosquito. The size of my face is sucking your damn blood out. Oh, my God. The bugs are so big there. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Crickets the size of my fingers. Like, ooh. Yeah. Really That's different. And y'all got gators that, no. Just yeah, no. There's, nope. there's that. <laughs> and I'll take a bear over a gator. But, mm, yeah, that's myrtles, man. You really are from up north, aren't you? Yeah, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yep. yeah, the bears you could see coming. If you're tromping um, around the swamps, 
Yeah. Well, you're out there running your trot line trying yeah. to catch catfish, <laughs> and the next thing you know, you're down for oh. the love roll. Oh, <laughs> Horrifying. I went on a swamp tour down there and was just, I just would not get to the edge of the boat. Uh, no, that's where, yeah. that's where we it's dump bodies. But, oh. That's where we dump bodies. I yeah, that's it. that's the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't even have to dispose of them. The animals just take care of it for you. Yeah. Oh, my God. So you also went to Rolling Hills. Oh, this is where it gets good. This is where it gets good. Mm. I did. <laughs> I did. You want you you ready for this one? Now, did you go on a <laughs> did you go on a private investigation or were you on a public investigation? This is where the clusterfuck begins because to go to this place in the middle of fucking nowhere, let me tell you. Just it's the part of New York where it's flat. Like if you get left outside, you just die. And in order to get there, you have to have ten people for like an eight hour investigation, no less, and no less than one thousand dollars. Yeah, for fuck's that sake. sounds so familiar. <laughs> oh my no. god! And, or else you can't go. So we did. It was our team, five of our people, um, no, six of our people, and another four of or five, maybe a more people. I don't remember. And another team that we work with or used to work with from Glens Falls, a little north of us, and they had been there a few times. So we were like, all right, let's do this. And yeah, so it was an, it was an eight-hour big long one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I mean, do you want the full rundown? Absolutely. Oh, all right. Go Fair for no it. detail. We get there, and because South Glens Falls Paranormal, they're great. They're good guys. Always been good guys and girls. Um, they, they were like, prepare to get there early or else you won't get let in if you're not there on the exact time you're supposed to be. And they were like, well, that's a little fucky, but okay. So we roll out super early, prepared with all our shit. And I remember standing outside waiting, and the woman did not, and she's the main woman you see on the show, and I put myself through watching this one. And oh. and uh, Now, what time are we talking? What time do you have to be there? I think it was like 6 p.m., Oh, fuck that. So you're spending, <laughs> you're spending four hours pretty much in the fucking daytime if you're there in the summertime? Oh, get ready, because there's a reason you get there super early. She checks you in by making you fill out a lot of personal information, and there's this really, I mean, the strict no drug and alcohol policy, that makes sense. You can't have people, like, lit and running around this shit. You should and go to Hill's Bar. <laughs> I'm sure there's places that Oh, God. Why? The people, who, the people who run Hill's Bar will let. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the check-in process takes at least a half an hour out of what you paid for. So there's that. You are required to take a tour of the building, a history tour it's called, before you investigate. We didn't know that this history tour was going to take an hour or more. <laughs> Uh, she did not say to bring flashlights, and by the time we were done with it, we're walking in the dark with almost no flashlights, like two smart people. Like investigators, we didn't have all our gear on us. And and it was like, this is a little shady. Oh, and wait. The, uh, so, so, you, so they're giving you a set amount of time. Does this, yeah. does this eat up into that time that you're yep. allotted? Uh, yep. This is good. Yep. Oh, does it ever? Because she walks around. I mean, oh, bless her heart. She she identifies every single spirit, alleged spirit, that she has contacted or knows personally. I guess um, <laughs> those words didn't even leave my face normal. Like, and and it's all about her and what she thinks is there. And oh, this is Timmy, and he doesn't like when the doors are closed. And we're like, yo, you're leading this on so so bad. So we have to like. You know, consciously erase this shit. We raced to set up the DVR system. Oh, we'd never put this shit together so fast. It was amazing. We like high fived. It was, oh, because she ate up all this time. So, well, we get back to the green room before even doing that, and she starts talking about herself, and we're like, ah, our time, our time. We just want to be in this amazing building, and uh, we then got to roam it ourselves. And here's. Here's where I looked at this episode of Ghost Adventures again and took into account what South Glens Falls told us about their previous investigation, where they showed up and heard a woman scream audibly, horrifying, wow. And then you watch Ghost Adventures and multiple people on the show interviewed say they hear this woman scream. And then it happens while the guys are investigating. 
and I wonder, all right, who's rigging it? Who's sitting Kentucky in the special game? effects? Kentucky special like, effects. <laughs> that's to me that pattern is either so uncanny that it's some sort of bakery. She lives across the street. Anybody could be there. We don't know. It's not secure in that sense. Or they really have some activity. And I went in at that time. This was 2012. Like, I was in the rabbit hole, man. For real. Like, I was I was stoked. I was kind of scared. Like, what if we see something that might be, I don't know, evil or dark or what do you do? Like, I had all we're those do- questions. I was still... I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop. Oh, boy. We're, we're done here. We're no, I'm just <laughs> yeah. Listen, I came out of that rabbit hole. <laughs> so, I, so for real, I went in with apprehension. I will totally admit that. I went in with a little apprehension. And here's the thing. We investigated for like five hours. Nothing happened. I, we saw one thing. And it looked like a shadowy like pair of legs crossing the hallway. Of course, there was no camera on it, for God's sake. Of course not. Like, Oh, that team, the way we had not enough cameras, ah, oh, ever. But there was nothing else, no sounds, nothing, nothing. And I, I talked to my friend, my roommate was on the team, and he went there with me, and I, you know, talked to him, and no, wait. I agreed, like, that's not paranormal. It's not well, active thing. One second, one second. That, that brings up a point, and I want to talk about it. It's a talking point. Mm-hmm. Talking point. Let's all gather around. Let's <laughs> put on our thinking caps. Okay, if we're going to if we're going to operate under the guise that ghosts, spirits, whatever you want to call them, can be intelligent. They maintain their intelligence, their individuality, blah, 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 from their corporeal human form. Mm. Do you think it's possible, and Skeptomaniacs, reach out to us, we want to know, that they know that you're trying to catch visual evidence, and that is why they only show themselves when you don't have a camera. Ah, uh, that's been kicked around when I was on the team. Actually, maybe they know, but I don't really think that what we're fucking with in this field is human. There's been nothing to lead me to think that oh, that is somebody who lived, and now they're just floating around because they didn't do something in life. You know, yeah, see, right. yeah, that's and that's the whole other thing. You know, some people would so be, would believe that it's a it's a that it's all demonic and it's a demon fucking with you. <laughs> and, I think yeah. it's something well demonic. That's if you really believe that was made up by people. Come on. Mm-hmm. I mean, so it's hard for me to think that it's hard for me to think that really that if they know and so they're not going to show up and you know who, it's just coincidence really. You need to meet Brandon. The champion of paranormal, paranormal challenge, challenge. <laughs> hosted by, hosted by Zach Bagans. Um, you need to meet and talk to Brandon because Brandon is ape shit crazy, <laughs> and he was serving us pizza <laughs> <laughs> when we were when we were investigating the Walking Horse Hotel here in Wartrace, Tennessee. He was serving us pizza. And I saw him, and I was like, hey, you're Brandon. He's like, yeah. I was like, you're on Paranormal Challenge. Yeah. How's that working out for you? <laughs> well, I'm driving the 1986 Honda Accord, and I'm delivering pizzas, so blah, 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 blah. blah. I'm like, dude, I need a refill. <laughs> it was... But he, 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 well, you know, I said, well, why not? I said, I'm going to ask him what he thinks because obviously Zach Bagans and them think this guy is good. He's got something. He's got the ghost adventure stamp of approval because he's won the paranormal challenge. And I asked him, I said, because we always caught activity at Walking Horse. Always. And I asked him, I said, well, Brandon, what do you think is going on here? What do you think about the ghosts or the spirits? He said, well, you know what? I don't think they're ghosts. I think they're all demons oh and i immediately checked out because i was like if this is the type of people if this is the type of people that the quote-unquote best in the business is backing Mm -mm. Mm -mm. we're all fucked yeah that's (laughs) telling the minute someone says that it's telling if they immediately start with we caught the name of a demon say one of those names yeah that gets already in that rabbit hole too in my opinion with 
Yeah, see, Sorry. <laughs> unless I see someone's face get fucking melted off, well, I be because if you're a demo, if you're a demon, you, I mean, you could fucking do that. I mean, you fucking right? melt see, people down to nothing. See, do it. I, I want to go to a demonic. I want to go to a demonic case, and I even asked what's his name, uh, Pari, Dustin Pari. Oh, that guy. I asked Dustin. I said, Dustin. I said, dude. Would you want to go? And he was like, I would love to go see something like that. Hmm. He wouldn't want to see because nobody's ever fucking seen it. All you hear is stories. <laughs> yep. All you hear is stories from people who are making money on it. Uh huh. Oh boy, the Warrens did it right, man. Yes, they did. They, whatever, whatever formula they found, they did it right. Yeah. Hey, you want to know how bullshit the Warrens are? And you can say they're great, and I don't give two fucks anybody out there. If you got a problem with it, you know how to reach out to us. They signed off on the portrayal of Annabelle. Huh. They had to. Oh, the, mov- the movie yeah. with the doll. The There's movie. like a few of them now, right? They, they had to because they own Annabelle. Yeah, yep. their uh, museum of... She is in their museum. It's a goddamn Raggedy Ann doll. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. It's under glass, don't you know? Yeah, Careful. it better yeah, be. With a big sign on it, please do not open. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, open man. it. Yeah, open it. I'll buy it from you. I'll give you $5 for it right now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. I just, it doesn't fly with me. My, my brain doesn't believe that I, people made it up dude white guys made it up mm. really really come on it's as believable as me to as, as like scientology and that one don't is take, pretty fucking we don't, hey we don't allow, we don't hey, allow i'm a scientologist <laughs> <laughs> i've met l ron hubbard yeah you know Oh, I'm, a, I'm a member of Mindfuck. I mean, mind, <laughs> mind f- I forgot about that. <laughs> mindfuck. But I'm sorry. Back back to your Rolling Hills story. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, in in all honesty, we didn't catch much of anything, and it felt. I didn't feel anything. So how much of your time was wasted by the old lady who just liked to talk? At least an hour and a half. At least. That's Maybe a good. Chunk, that's a good chunk of change right there. It is. Okay. It is. So you so you average that out. You guys paid her just to talk. Uh huh. And that's apparently here's the other digging I did. Um, if there's one thing people like to do, it's tell the internet what pisses them off. And if you go on like TripAdvisor and Yelp, mm-hmm. people are honest, and the reviews just back up everything that we experienced when we were there. And some of the stories that people have of that place are even worse. And it's it's a little. I mean, how are they a business? You know, how are you, how are you a business? It's not like she was, you know, she said she was drawn to save the building. Nah, uh, no, she uh, thought she was drawn to save a derelict uh, old infirmary and then change the name so that you get teams like us going there. That's not. You don't want to pay the taxes on that piece of shit. Come on. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this: You said at the time you were down the rabbit hole. Somewhat, yeah. Get it? We've all we've all been there. Mm, hell, we, fun, right? hell, we were there at one time. I'm, now I'm talking to you from the rabbit hole. <laughs> now, why? What was your motivation to go to Rolling Hills? We, as a team, worked on um, residential cases most of the time. And to be honest, those to me aren't really interesting or exciting or worthwhile for us or the the people that live in those houses and we wanted to do something where we went to a bigger known place and really see if it's worth what it was and we were all kind of like huh that was a little disappointing so we, we our motivation was let's see if it's really as big a scary place as they say it is and uh, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't measure up it doesn't measure up and if i went with like a little trepidation over what could happen i don't know i'd never experienced anything that said it was or that indicated evil but I was still like maybe there is maybe something's totally gonna fuck with me but when you I go wish. and then experience it and then nothing happens you, I don't know you kind of grow your balls a little in the paranormal and go alright what's 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 really happening here you know so I think we came out of it learning a lesson for sure a damn good story that's all that's coming out of it oh I forgot one part 
if you need to go to the bathroom in Rolling Hills, she has to escort the whole group so we can all hang outside of an old ass porta potty while each of us takes a shit. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> like, really? so, so they won't. Uh, they won't. Uh, now see that, no bathroom. <laughs> that to me. Hold on. Now she has to escort the whole group. Like if one has so to go, one... everybody has to go. Yes, I'm not kidding. Yes. Damn. Now that raises a red flag to me. So what yeah. are we going to do? Your building's empty. There's nothing to take. That would lead me to believe the building's not empty. It's not probably up to OSHA standards. Well, no, I'm not saying that, but we 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 contacted a special effects company based out of Kentucky. <gasps> oh. Yeah. And the guy is... and the guy the owner of the guy the owner of the company told us in an email, we still got the email, that they oh, yeah. do work for haunted locations. No shit. And that they oh. they have people on site at these locations that are just regularly dressed that run the special effects. And they prize themselves on not getting caught. Really? They can make stuff appear. They can do orbs. They can do smells. They can do all this stuff. Now... We asked the guy, could he give us his client list? And he said, I can't tell you the names. I said, well, can you tell us what states they operate in? He named every state that there's a big hot spot in. Mm -hmm. New York, Florida, California, all of them. Well, so Waverly Hills, maybe Kentucky? Kentucky, yeah. they they well, did. Waverly, Waverly Hills is fucked. Yeah. Because they have people, they have staff on site during your entire investigation. In oh, various yeah. areas. T- telling you where you can and can't go. Huh. There is always somebody there at Waverly. Wow. Didn't know that. So. Never tried for that one. Don't. Yeah, really. Take it from us. I'm learning we're, a lot. <laughs> we're, we're here for the people. <laughs> <laughs> we work for you. Oh, now man. people now now people don't may not believe that because we're a little bit rough around the edges. But we're here for, we're here for you. <laughs> or or we're like tearing down. Lying. Yeah, we're tearing down the image that they perceived of their supernatural heroes like Zach Bagans or Jason Hawes or oh, man. Chip you know, Coffee. Ah, come on. These people are getting paid so much money to show you the most entertaining Ah, man. <laughs> you ain't kidding. Of course there'd be a special effects company. Of fucking course. Of course. What are you kidding me? You think orbs just fucking appear out of nowhere? Oh, God. <laughs> what, the hell do you th- what the hell do you think this is? Some fucking <laughs> portal somewhere? Get out of here. <laughs> Gateways and doorways fucking everywhere. It's a goddamn oh, vortex. Get out of here. Mirror. That's it. Yeah, every place has got a vortex. Mm-hmm. And see, the real problem of it is, is you have some really legit haunted places. Yeah. And you can't get the places out there because everybody's riding the dick of the big famous places. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's just bullshit. And it's all in a name. Rolling Hills Asylum was never called Rolling Hills Asylum. Apparently, it's according to her website, so take that source as you will. Um, it's a, it's like an amalgamation of the names that people have come up with over the last four owner, and she's the fourth owner, so that it's the Genesee County Poor Farm. So what are you doing to the history of the place in the first place? Huh. Yeah, you're using the word asylum really well. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. It's see-through, it's obvious, and people who do experience paranormal, and there's some shit out there. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's cool. It, it fucked with my head, but don't <laughs> fake me out man and don't don't be see-through because we're all gonna know well no we're not all gonna know uh that's why they get people going there i just contradicted myself <laughs> they get people who still believe it and they run into that stuff you know head first loving it but you see it for what it really is and think about it from the other side just use your brain you know it's not all it's cracked up to be really? so do you feel that was a thousand dollars well spent it, it was a thousand dollars confused because we wanted to be there, for sure. And it's a cool fucking place, man. Of course it's spooky. It's an empty fucking giant building. Mm-hmm. And um, the thrill factor is very clear, you know? But it was 
not, it, the, the, the experience was like knocked down a few notches every time something would happen where we were like, hey, what the heck? Hey, what the, wait a minute, you know? Yeah. And then to have nothing happen all night. Uh, yeah, well, that's. Well, we're gonna, I'll tell you a secret, by the way. Since uh, you have that whole full dark productions thing, mm-hmm. milk that shit. And some of these places let you in for free. Yes. Yes. That, no, Why definitely. So if you, you tell them, you tell them that you've got, that you, yeah, make, make them know that you have a podcast or uh, a YouTube channel oh, and, and whatnot. We tell you, they will, we tell, you, we tell you that because we know from experience. They will let you because they, they want that publicity. What, they want the word production? No, yeah. they just want to know that you have a show. Yeah, uh-huh. because they're, they're, they're into because that. Because for them, they, for them, they think it's free advertising. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. So bad that old South Pittsburgh Hospital let us in. <laughs> that Isn't was, that one of the big That's a big one. It's really, no, uh, it, it shouldn't be. It should, uh-huh. yeah. shouldn't be, but they let us in. And I called the lady. I told her, I was like, hey, we're, we're the pair of skeptics. We do this, we do this. Yeah, you guys, come on in. No problem. Huh. Come on in. We get in there. She says, don't tell anybody you got in here for free. We're telling people we got in here for free. Don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know it would even work like that. Well, they, I'm going to some of the places I'm going. I'm like, I got to do this legit. I'm not going to, you know, try to be like, I'll put on a, you know, a, a sweet event and get people here because maybe I don't want to do that part. So I'm trying to be kind of upfront and legit. Like, this is what I do. If you don't let me in, that's fine. I'll fuck off and go elsewhere. But, huh. That's interesting. I would, Just because you're a paranormal team with a show and a podcast, I don't want to have to have a podcast. Nobody wants to hear me. Oh, my God. I agree. <laughs> 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 That's so bad. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they, they'd pay me to shut up. Like, yeah. See, that, but you've got the, I mean, you got a pretty happening YouTube channel, so you need to, you know, pump that, mm-hmm. and tell them, hit them, you know. Say yeah, this is this is what we this is what I do. We'd it like works, to come check works. your place out, and they so you just see what they say. Most of the some, most of the times they they come back. It fucking with a, works for live sci-fi. That motherfucker will summon Candyman sh- in the <laughs> head with his ping pong balls. And that fucker. Oh, that motherfucker will summon Candyman right there in the bathroom. Easily. Does it every night? Every night. Huh. I'm gonna have to try that. See what happens. <laughs> Do it. Apparently it works for him. He gets all kind of views and people kissing his ass. Yeah. Oh. But, I mean, hey, I do want to... There's a fine t- line between, like, just putting your shit out there, doing what you do, and then really obviously showing that you want followers and viewers and and more than, you know, a discussion in the paranormal. You just want those likes. And that, I mean, that's a... I don't want to do that. Ah, that's yeah, a, it's, it's... You know? Yeah. Well, see... And we're, and we're not tooting our own horn when we say this. We don't give a shit. Yeah, you get views. Look at I see. Yeah, we're not. Doing. Yeah, we're not trying to. We're not uh, doing any. Like we, we've got no SEO. We, we've got no. Uh, nobody handling doing. marketing or anything. We're just mm. doing what we wanted to do and um, let, for, letting it go from there. No, I mean, I mean, we're not. We're not. We're not burning it down. But yeah. You know, <laughs> Four thousand downloads a month for two guys that just get up and do whatever the fuck we want. That's awesome. That's awesome. It's not bad. And you're just telling the truth, man. We live this shit. We can talk about it. And I, I kind of wrestled with that. Like, how honest do I want to be? Well, be it's very my honest. Goddamn life. Like, I have an opinion. I lived this shit. I went through some weird stuff with this team and some people and oh, yeah. stuff. Come on. You want drama? Join a paranormal team. That's <laughs> oh, that's, that's nothing but a bag of drama. <laughs> because we believe all sorts of different shit. And you can't, you can't, it's like herding cats. You can't put all that together and one person's a demonologist and the other is a, is a hedge witch and the other one only does science and is skeptical. No, you're not. You're on a paranormal team. Bro. Yeah, no. like, that's first and off. That together. Oh. First off, if you worked with anybody that called himself a demonologist, shame on team. you. Oh, shame. Run. Just run. Shame. Shame. It's like Unless it's they like they have a PhD in mythology. They are not. They're just. It's just a. It's made up. Hmm. Made up. You're giving yourself a cool title. Yeah. We can all do that. Come on. I'm a. I'm an astronaut. <laughs> I'm the world's first paranormal investigating astronaut. Okay, <laughs> well, damn it! If you can call yourself that, I'm a leprechaun. I can do whatever the hell I want. Yeah, I'm an astral traveler. 
Exactly. So I'm back. <laughs> well, hey, thank you for talking to us, and thank you yeah. for coming on the show. You can tell people we're not that bad. A lot of folks are fucking scared of us and don't want anything to do with us. No, that's come on. Just be real. See. That's all. And those are my stories. I lived it. I can't make it up. It's all the stuff that happened. I'm probably leaving stuff out because it was years ago. But there was fuckery and. And, you know, it, it taught me, I think, that you can't do this shit with expectations. And that's, that's reality, you know? Yeah. So are you guys, are you guys investigating now? You, you do a lot of investigations now? I do now. And I do work with some of the people that I was on the team with. Because they're still, you know, a reference point. People I did learn from, you know. Got to give credit where it's due. And I, I won't work with the whole team. Because a lot of the other people do the psychics. I just can't take it into account. It just doesn't float my boat, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, a, that's a tough one. <laughs> I'm a little more select. when I Because I'm solo, I don't have a team. I don't have responsibility over people. And when I don't want to do something, I can just, okay, bye. <laughs> so how do you get your, So let me ask you this. How do you get your cases being solo? Um, It's really hard, actually. <laughs> There's places where... I've been, and through being on that team, really opened a lot of doors. And I've been able to revisit and work with people. And I've worked with other teams who are like, yeah, yeah, come investigate. Like, I went to White Hill Mansion. That was an event that New Jersey Paranormal, the hell are they called, NJ Rope put on. That's fine. I just take myself to the other end of the building so I don't get noise contamination and do my own thing. But through these people, I take that opportunity. And yes, I am going to pay to go to prospect place this weekend because i want to see that building i want to i want to prove yes or no because you can't in this field but i want to i want my own experience so i choose it and some of them might be bigger and some of them are like the local mansions that i know i've experienced crazy shit in and i i want to go back and see if something happens you know if it doesn't fuck it i'll still tell you that nothing happened so I work my way around. I don't know. If I show up in Tennessee, can I investigate? <laughs> Goddamn right. Oh, yeah. Fuck, that's how it, That's how to do it. And talk to people that are like-minded, you know? Damn right. Yeah. You're ever in the area, let us know. Yeah, because we okay. got a place that you would probably get a fucking kick out of. That's, that's the fun part, the thrill. Like, if everyone's going to be honest in this paranormal world, the thrill of what could happen is why you're there. Yeah. As, as a matter yeah. of fact, you get the itch to travel. Let us yeah. know, and we'll set some shit up at a place that mm -hmm. you'll enjoy. Awesome. Yeah, it's Definitely. it's something that it's like one of one of a kind so nice. far. <laughs> anyway, yeah, until someone learns about it. Yeah. So, but but anyway, Amy, thank you for coming on and talking to the skeptics. Thank you for having me, for real. Oh yeah. Thank you for telling the stories. You're always welcome to come back. Should you have anything else you want to talk about, or if you just want to come on and shoot the shit with us on a subject we're talking about, you're more than welcome. Yeah, we occasionally do uh, Google Hangouts. Uh, occasionally, it's been a while, but um, due to uh, Google Hangouts and its fuckery, sometimes we don't. <laughs> Well, that too, and plus we just don't really give a shit to talk to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like we're going to do a Google Hangout, and it's like 10 minutes later, you know what, cut this shit off. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Fuck it. Well, awesome. So, but anyway, thank you, and uh, good luck with everything that you're doing. And uh, with that, Skeptomaniacs, I am Dalton. I'm Wade. And that is, Amy, that's, that's your cue. And oh, that's me. <laughs> Brilliant. Dynamite drop in, money. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> and we will see you bitches on the next podcast. Good night. It's been your pleasure. Shit.